Nasty. <laughs> 1420 Sports Bar Podcast, four beer sports talk, and a whole lot more. Make sure you check us out on all our social media accounts at 1420 under or underscore 1420 uh, on Twitter, uh, 1420 on Facebook, and everything else. Uh, get back to us on uh, 1420 at sports at gmail.com for any email inquiries you might have. Dave, uh, a fun one we do. It's quite easy. Who is better? I give you two names. You tell me who's better. I'll tell you right or wrong. We'll debate it and go from there. Dave. Who is better, the AL Player of the Week, Bo, or his father, Dante Bichette? The fourteen twenty Sports Bar Podcast, four beer sports talk, and a whole lot more. Dave, one of our favorite segments. Quite easy. I say a name. Name, person, place, object, thing, noun, whatever it is. Uh, give you actually, I'll give you two nouns. Well, my, one might be a pronoun. It doesn't much matter. Uh, I'll give you two words. You tell me which one's better. Quite simple. I know the rules, and I like this game. I'm ready to go. Dave, who is better? This week's American League Player of the Week, Bo Bichette, or his father, ex-Colorado Rocky, who you just went down and saw last week in Colorado there, not him per se, but the Rockies, his father, Dante Bichette. Who is better, Bo or Dante Bichette? You know, I will give this to the Bichette family. They know how to name the kids. Dante and Bo are, both those names roll off the tongue, pretty sweet little handles. Bo Bichette, Dante Bichette, you're not going to forget that. Uh, I remember Dante Bichette because he Could played. He had a yeah, he had a decent career. Bo Bichette, he's pretty young. He's pretty streaky, but now he's hitting a hide off the ball right now. I don't really have a horse in the race, so I'm going to flip that coin and Bo Bichette because I want the Jays to make some noise in the playoffs. Uh, he's hitting, tearing the cover off the ball and great head of hair. So I don't like when he wears a headband before the game. I don't like to put a hat on. That's just an old, uh, get up my lawn kind of deal. That That's just me. I, Dave, what, what I wonder, like those those guys that have the dreads, how do they keep a, a, a I lid don't on? wonder. Like how do they, so it doesn't stink. Do they have a hat, pan, a hat pin or something like that? But like how do you get a stug fitting To stay lid? it on, to, to keep to it on the head. On. So you take yeah. two steps, it falls off your coconut. I don't get it either. Like do your thing. I'm not anti-dread. I'm just honestly curious how you keep your lid on. It's kind of a, a a bad time of to be asking this question because your your team's not doing so hot right now. They're they're still lining up to to maybe win the game tonight here to your Denver Broncos. But Dave, who is better, Denver Broncos quarterback Russell Wilson or the the founder of your favorite band, the the Beach Boys, Brian Wilson? Oh, Brian Wilson, songwriting genius. Um, I have. If, if, if the Broncos I, I were winning tonight, I, what would you be saying? Oh, no. Russ is still a Seahawk in in, in my brain. Like, when I think about him, we're going to have to – he's only uh, three and three quarters quarters into his Broncos career. I'm happy with the ex- acquisition. But, uh, like, he hasn't made his bones as a Bronco. He's not quite a Hall of Famer yet. Um, I don't think so. Um, Brian Wilson is a Hall of Famer. Uh, in in rock and roll history, I, I think he's one of the best songwriters to ever grace his planet. If the Seahawks hand that ball off at Super Bowl, whatever it was, Russell Wilson's a Hall of Fame because he would have had two. He would have had two at that point. Yeah, but that was only in, like in his first three years, right? Like you know, you get two, you're in. We're gonna find out, right? Because I don't think uh, number seven from Pittsburgh should be in, but we're gonna find out. Uh, should, we should do that in the coming weeks ahead, Dave. Uh, athletes who've left their their the team they started with, who had careers. We talked about like Joe Montana and everything else. We'll do that for a segment. Like guys who've left and probably should have stayed. Yes, Wilson got traded, but he kind of asked for a trade. We should do a segment of guys who should have stayed st- stayed where uh, what got him there throughout their career because it's a uh, it's it's intriguing to me that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Well, yeah, and, and like yeah, for for whatever reason, right? Like. Um... Yeah, Russell was begging out, and it was a breakup, but you got people like Gretzky that he didn't want to leave Edmonton, and it was kind of forced upon him. Yeah, crazy. Uh, Dave, who is better? Paul Schaefer, 
the leader of the world's most dangerous band from David Letterman, piano. He was great uh, on Letterman back in the day. Or Paul Coffey. Mm -hmm. You know what? I don't know if Paul Schaefer is a Hall of Famer, but the world's most dangerous band. I was a huge Letterman fan back in the day. And they I, were, and I, it was so good. It was so they, cheesy and corny and great. Yeah, before and Letterman he, uh, would throw his thing over the shoulder and it'd break the glass, and, and then Schaefer would and have his stupid like glasses on. The band was good. Yeah, stupid I love Letterman. Tricks. Yeah, Letterman was so great. He was so great. It was like it was, uh, yeah, the, the shtick that Letterman and Schaefer had, but I'm not trying to influence yeah. your vote here. But oh no, I was a huge Letterman fan, especially back in the day when we had that uh, NBC feed out of Detroit. So you could actually watch the late show with David Letterman at ten o'clock at night. You didn't have to stay up till till midnight to watch it. Yeah, um, that was a treat as well. Um, I love David Letterman, um, and that's going to skew my vote a little bit. Paul Coffey, Hall of Famer. Excuse me, game changer. Four Stanley Cups, two with Edmonton, two with Pittsburgh. I gotta say, did he get one with Detroit too? Possibly, because he made a lot of trips around the planet with the, playing playing hockey. Like he was played on a lot of teams. Yeah, you're right. Um, maybe I don't. Maybe not. I don't know. No, neither do I. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Paul Coffey, but I'd rather have Paul Schaefer's Rolodex. And then, as I say that, Denver's lining up for this game-winning field goal. I got to see what happens here. I don't know if you want to record it or hit pause. Up to you. I'll hit pause. Did you say Paul Schaefer? Uh, no, I said Paul Coffey, but I wanted I want Paul Schaefer's uh, Rolodex. Rolodex. Because, because, you know, when they have that uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremonies and stuff like that, it's him and his band. That are always there for it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's so always he, part of it. He's he's right there. Yeah. There's no doubt about bet. that. Like like he's. I think he's well respected in the in the music. I no, think. I I, know. I, think, I think Paul you Schaefer's know. pretty 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 all right. I think he's actually better than pretty. Right. I think he's pretty awesome actually. I, I like I like Paul Schaefer a lot. Dave, what is better? And I will. I do not understand for the life of me why these are making more and more resurgence. Maybe I'm just going to more cosmopolitan types of places lately but uh i do not understand these things for the life of me i don't get it i think it's ridiculous i think if you go back in the history of time if you offer somebody the the, the opposite what i'm about to say they, they would take it dave what is better chopsticks or a fork and knife it, it, to it totally depends it i doesn't eat it 100% does. I have never once eaten sushi or Chinese food with a fork and knife. I eat with chopsticks. Why? Because they give me chopsticks and that's the way the food was intended to be eaten. That's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard in my life. No, it's not at all. Do you eat a hamburger with a fork and knife? You use a knife on a hamburger. I cut it in half. But that's not using a knife to, to get it down my Would stomach. you use chopstick with a hamburger? Well, no, because I use my hands for a hamburger because that's the way it's intended to be eaten. At what point is using two thin sticks the quickest, easiest way to get something into your yap? That is the it's, stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'll tell you, like when we, we, we make Asian food occasionally in our house, like pad thai is uh, something that we know how to make as a family. My son knows how to make pad thai. And that's something that we make uh, easily every other week. There's a reason once. why they invented forks and knives and spoons after. It's, it's easier. It's easier. It's not easier. The easy it's the right. Same. I, when, when I'm done with my bowl in my house with my chopsticks, there's like maybe three grains. Like my my bowl is cleaner than anyone's, and my and uh, my Wait. son uses a spoon every time. You're wrong. No, I I respect the, I respect the culture of the food, the the, the origin of the food. No, it's I not easier. Use, I don't use uh, I don't use uh, chopsticks to eat spaghetti. 
I see a guy having a noodle bowl the other day with to have a noodle bowl with chopsticks. Why would you do that? You twirl it up, spin it, eat it, stop, stab, stab, eat, see you later. Done. You know what? It, it, it might be easier to eat noodles with chopsticks than a fork. No, no, no. That's it, now you're just causing controversy. It's all no, you're doing. like like a soup bowl for sure. Like a like a spoon and chopsticks. Oh, for sure. I I'm. Do you do you use chopsticks or are you no. just grumpy because you're not good at chopsticks? I tried them. I I have no, I don't think I've ever tried them because that was stupid. There's a fork there. There's a knife there. I'm going to use those instead. Oh, chopsticks see, are ridiculous. No. Chopsticks I... are for fucking people. Like, look at me. I can use chopsticks. You want chopsticks? <laughs> or I want a fork. So you're impugning the entire. I would like, I would put money yeah. on it if you went back to whatever Asia, whatever 18 fucking hundred BC. They say. Thanks for the fork, man. I'd put money on it. I would. Well, you know what? I use chopsticks all the time. All the time. Anytime there is Asian food on my plate, I am using chopsticks. Every time. Like, it's not even, it's not even. I That's even a look at me it. move. That's all that is. That's all it's that is. It's hard to look at me move. Then why do they give you free chopsticks every time you order Chinese? Because they're lazy. They don't want to make the dishwasher work any. That's all that is. That's a bull. I, chopsticks oh, are no. bullshit. I love. Well, I don't love chopsticks. I use chopsticks on the appropriate meal, and 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 the culture that has created this meal that I'm about to enjoy has has uh, said that this is probably the best way to enjoy our cuisine. And I'm going to respect the culture, and I'm going to use. The I chopsticks. don't get. I just. I don't get it. I think it's the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. Uh, well, do you use the knife and fork for pizza? But you've seen people use knife and fork. I use my hands because it's pizza. Like I'm not. It's it's exactly. That's, but that's, you that's, have that's, seen. Pe- that's a ridiculous argument. But you have seen people use a knife and fork. Would for you pizza. use chopsticks for pizza? No, it's a, it's damn near impossible. See, that's what your chopsticks. That the food is already in bite-sized chunks. Right? Or even better to use a fucking fork. No, but that's why I use the chopstick. I don't like like it, it's it's it's. Chops. I didn't make the I didn't make the rules. The but you can change the rules. If, if nobody's saying if you don't use this, the food won't taste as good. Oh no, I I, I think it does. It doesn't taste as good with a fork. <laughs> what? I could, I couldn't tell you the last time I ate Chinese food with a fork. Okay, here's the thing. Remember, you get, used to get those little uh, uh, ice cream treats. The the the, the oh uh, with the wood spoon with the wooden yeah, spoon. The, what yeah. would you rather use, the wooden spoon or the or a spoon? I'd rather use a spoon than the. But what the spoon. fuck's the difference, man? You don't want yeah, to use but... a wooden piece of shit for your ice cream, but use a wooden two wooden sticks for fucking for rice. That's yeah, ridiculous. But, but the last time I used a wooden spoon on the Dixie cup, I was I didn't even have hair on my balls. I was on a Cub Scout picnic, and so now that you have a choice to actually use a, a, a spoon, but I'm not out of a cutlery a spoon. drawer. You can do this. I'm not packing a spoon to uh to you a, have a, you have do you have wooden spoons in your cutlery drawer for when you have vanilla ice cream? I do not. There you go. Yeah, we'll but that's, they're, they're they're just giving you that spoon as a service to you because you, they know it's going to be. That's what they're doing with chopsticks too because they don't want to fucking wash their cutlery at a restaurant. That's all that is. It's bullshit. Anyway, but they wa- but they wash the spoons. They're like you know what? I'll, I'll I'll tell you one more thing. I have like a, a twenty pack. Of like the good enamel, well, the good top six. top six. Well, yeah, not the wood ones where you got to go up to your snap them in, uh, in half. But I do have a, pa- a a pair of chopsticks in the glove compartment of my car. Just so, in case you've done a high speed chase and eating a fucking bowl of ramen noodles down the street. Well, you never know if you want to grab sushi at uh, at Safeway on your way when you're going. Hands to... mouth done. Nah. Okay. We'll agree to disagree. Bullshit. Anyways, ended up one more. Uh, last last night, Sunday night football opening, Tom Brady came back uh, for his 19th reti- or his retirement and the Giselle and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, Michael Jordan was part of the opening. Uh, I didn't read it, listen to it. I was, we were out and about uh, not eating sushi or not eating food with chopsticks, but uh, it was on TV. Michael jo- Jordan was narrating the uh, the opening of the of the the Buccaneers game last night versus the Cowboys, and uh, I don't know if we've ever spoken about this one, Dave, but uh, this one might be a good one. Who is better, Michael Jordan or Tom Brady? 
Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. I one hundred percent agree. Um, Tom Brady's a winner. Obviously, Michael Jordan is too. Um, Michael Jordan kind of revolutionized the game. Tom Brady just played the game of uh, the position of quarterback probably more efficiently than most. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, if he's ever been the most talented quarterback in every given year, which isn't to say he isn't the best. Um, whereas Michael Jordan, I believe, was the most talented basketball player and 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 it changed the game like he changed culture like um, now, Dave I think everybody. that the, the way you first start, said that I think that's the, the, the probably one of the best uh, ways and we talk about the state of, of quarterbacks as they are today um, Brady was the most efficient throughout his career never the most athletic never the best runner never the best thrower but the, the most efficient and that's I think what quarterbacks are I think you can get you can get through an NFL season. You, you can't win championships, but you can get through and make a playoff and maybe win a playoff game with an efficient quarterback, a, a, a B plus to a quarterback. You don't need a rock star quarterback to win a championship. Uh, yeah. To win a championship. It helps. It but helps. Like you're not going to say, nah, we're good. Yeah. But Jordan was a rock star change the game kind of player that, went from jumping and, and shooting and doing it all compared to passing and, the, and, and how the game was a little bit slower back then. Jordan changed the game and I I respect Brady, but I, I think that Jordan is the best top five athletes of all time. And, that, and like we've had this discussed before that is yet, yet Nike pushed that on us. Absolutely. But man, you look at what he did and the way he changed, changed the sport. That guy, I think he's the actual goat. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with that. And even though you can still make arguments, I guess uh, you can always make arguments. You can make arguments with Jordan and the basketball honks and, and whatever, especially with LeBron now. And you can still make arguments with um, with Brady. Like, uh, is he the best? Like, it's he's won the most and that much, you know, and at the yeah. end of the day, the rings, the thing. Um, he has more than anybody else, and it, it's funny you said this because um, when when you when you told me we we're gonna do a, a who is better, I wrote I had some notes I put down at work and I forgot them at work, and just as you said that, you reminded me of two I have written down. So I'm gonna Good. just be I'll be I'll be quick with them. No, we got time. Okay, I got another dude. So what's better? Bill Space Van Lee or Space Jam with Jordan? Ooh. Bill Space Van Lee was something else. That guy uh, did ask him before a game. Um, but Space Jam, the way it was constructed, the way Jordan was in there, like we just talked about, I got to go. Man, but Space Van Lee was such a good pitcher. But not enough longevity. Space he's a Jam, Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer, but not enough longevity. Uh, whereas Space Jam, it actually people were complaining how bad Space Jam Two because Space <laughs> Jam One was so good. Still, uh, I got to go with Space Jam, just for yeah, for those two reasons: longevity and when they they try to remake something, and people are like, "No, nah, it ain't good enough." Space Jam get 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 gets my vote. And it's just one more thing that Jern's a little bit better than LeBron at. He's better than everything in LeBron is. <laughs> it ain't close. And, and that ain't close. And the and, other and, and, and that's that, that's what's not close with the Jordan LeBron um debate. Jordan's just more personable. That's that's huge for me. And yes, it's get off my lawn 25 years ago was better. Jordan's just more personable and with the, the swagger and everything else, whereas LeBron is so. Ugh, I don't it makes know. Makes me wonder, though, if that's kind of because of social media, right? If Twitter and, and all that stuff was a Could thing. Could be. 
Could when be Jordan was because we didn't know anything behind the scenes of Jordan, right? Like he clearly had a gambling. I won't say a gambling problem. He liked to get down, right? Like he, he was gambling. Yeah, he loved to gamble. And if we knew that about him at that time, as opposed to just Who rumblings knows? here and there, yeah, we don't know. But so, you know, I agree. Uh, Space Friendly was a character and a Hall of Famer. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, and and funny and a cultural icon. But uh, I'll t- I'll take St- Space Jam. As, as well. Um, the other one is, who's better? Um, Tom Brady's wife, Mrs. Brady, or, from your youth, Marsha Brady. Oh, fuck. Ooh. I... See, this could almost be a would you rather more than a who is better because, uh, <laughs> which is another segment we have in the 1420 Sports Bar podcast. I think that uh, who is better? Marcia seemed like she kind of got, she had the, 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 she ruled the roost a little bit more than she should have in the Brady household. She was the oldest daughter. She uh, was the prettiest daughter of the bunch. She kind of got her way a little bit. Whereas Giselle wants to get her way quite a bit, I think, but she has relinquished some of her, her, um, uh, not duties, but her, um, her, uptick i guess is one way of putting it she's she kind of took a back seat to tom's career so i gotta uh, commend her for that whether the, the rumors that have been going around the old interweb this last past week are true or not who knows but uh marcia man i didn't like 17 year old girls when i was 17 because they were you know that's because they're 17 year old girls and they can be really annoying uh so i'm going to say that Tom Brady, just because what what Giselle has, not what she's accomplished in life, but what she's put up with, since she come, got, got uh, married to Tom Brady, I'm going to say that Giselle is the better human being. Um, yeah, we're going to... Uh, a we'll, long-winded we'll story Brady. about fucking That was a long one. And so you take <laughs> Mrs. Brady over Marsha Brady. Yes. See, whereas me and this might be like the four or five years difference because I like because uh I would have been about 12, 13 years old when Marsha was about 16, 17. Yeah. Uh so a little bit older than me. I crushed on Marsha Brady a bit. See, whereas, oh yeah, when, don't get me wrong. But when, when Giselle came into the to my sphere, like I'm too old to be crushing on her. Like, yes, she's a beautiful woman, and I yes, I get it. But the, my formative years of 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 crushing on someone, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely take Marsha Brady over Mrs. Brady. Oh, in that in that instance, absolutely. Like I'm not. I don't gotta. I, I I'm not fucking looking at a, a magazine cover of fucking whoever the fuck. <laughs> I don't care. Like put a pair of jeans on whoever. I'm not buying those jeans because they're on the fucking magazine cover. I'm not. Okay. I I don't I don't understand supermodels. I think it's ridiculous. Jeans, right on. Guess perfume, right on. I don't get it, right on. I don't. I don't get it. Uh, but if you're, if we're going on on um, childhood crushes or or manhood well, crushes, just, what your metrics, your metrics. Yeah, like, I, you can I, I would also want. go with with Marsha Brady for sure. With, uh, in the, in that instance, if if my 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 crush level per se is is there to here with the one or the other at age, yeah. at stages in our lives. Yeah, like I would say, Marsha Brady had a bigger effect on my uh, psyche than magazine yeah. reading. Well, when, when, <laughs> I would let's not say was. magazine reading. Let's just say uh, in the bank. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no, they fun show tonight. Uh, we talked a lot of NFL football. We'll do it uh, Mondays throughout or throughout the season. You got curling season coming up right away. When's that all start up? Uh, usually starts first week of October, and so I will be out on Tuesday. So it's nice that we do this on Mondays. We can we can hit NFL when it's fresh and 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 watch some Monday night. Thank goodness uh, Denver doesn't play a Monday nighter this year again because that was I was a little distracted tonight. And for for our listeners, I do apologize about that. 
Well, it happens. You uh, you, you get, get excited about your team. That's uh, There's no getting around that. I do it 162, 162 times a year. You do it 17, so she's tough. But anyways, no, it's uh, it's fun. We'll do uh, a lot more football talk coming up in the weeks to come with college football on Saturdays, NFL Sundays, NHL starting up right away. Got to get into the free agency. Uh, I think it happened. But anyways, the 1420 Sports Bar Podcast, four beer sports talk, and a whole lot more. Take care of each other. But more importantly, take care of yourselves. We need you around. Keep your stick on the ice. And what else, Dave? Don't swing at high pitches, Jim. Have a good mo- uh, Monday, Tuesday, whatever you listen to this, and we'll talk to you guys again on Thursday. Hello, dog. Time to take this guy for a walk. Have you a good night, that everybody. Big yawn. That big yawn. <laughs> he he oh, don't want to oh. go nowhere by the looks of things. Oh, that's not true. As soon as.